It is Wednesday, Kat Krapel. I haven't seen her in forever, but she's back in studio today. It was because I was on vacation, yes. and then you had like a meeting, I think, or was we, it the no, same one? No, we went to the. We they asked. came to the hut. They came to us. They came yes, to the and huts. we had a blast. Yes, oh, uh, I was an alien. <laughs> I'm surprised you were able to rail them or you know wrangle them for the shots. But yeah. anywho. Super excited. We are busting out the markers. We've got some really fun, as you can see here, crafts we'll be working on today. Yes. Um, Most of them with Sharpies and paint markers right. is what we're going to do today. And this is just a, a coaster. It's, it's too big. I couldn't find the 4 by 4s but you can also do it with the slate. Or you can use the wooden coasters as oh, well wow. that, you can, that you can get already made. But you can use these for, for something else, maybe a flower vase or anything like that. Yeah. And it's so simple. All I did was take uh, a marker and then you just start. Now you can also find the white in this as well. Okay. So all we're going to do is really just start making any kind of, let me hold it up a bit so you can see, so that you can see. So you just kind of whatever design you want, um, <laughs> pick up different colors, different markers, um, all your fall colors if you want, since okay. we're kind of almost there. Um, and then you just keep going in any direction that you want. And then the neat part is that when you add the alcohol and you're going to want the 91 percent or higher if you can find it and all I'm going to do I'm just going to do it real quick you can keep um, coloring as we'll say um, but you're going to just take I could not find an eyedropper anywhere in Lafayette but I found that if an you eyedropper just, yeah oh, that's okay. hard to find so if you um, just take your q-tip and I'm just going to show you on this one. I'm going to finish it up later. These markers show up so well on here. So it's kind of running, but you want to do just little drops. And then it's going to all blend in together to become what you see here with the little collage, we'll call it. All right. It well, does have to dry overnight. Okay, we're going to we're gonna keep working on this and yes. we'll show you more. And I have some questions like, could we not do like all tiles for this? Absolutely. That would be so cool. Yes. Okay, uh, stay with us. We've got more with Ms. Kat Krapel. We'll talk about the HUD and maybe some of the goodies that they have after the break.